Chair, and again, I thank the panel for being here. Uh, I want to talk about a different type of attack. It's an electronic attack, particularly GPS spoofing, which is increasingly impacting uh, commercial and GA aircraft. I've had pilots send me photos of panels at 43,000 feet uh, with a terrain uh, warning. There's no terrain at 43,000 feet, particularly flying in the Middle East um, or overseas. Um, now, in the FAA Reauthorization Act of 2024, it ha does have provisions to secure aircraft electronics against these sort of attacks, uh, but there's additional, uh, but my question is this, uh, particularly uh, General Reynolds, um, are there additional actions that Congress or the executive branch should take to address this growing issue? Uh, Senator, thank you for the question. Uh, I think the, the, the piece I might offer is maybe talk a little bit about what we're doing right now with federal government that might help think about what kind of um, initiatives or resources might be beneficial to go after this problem. One is um, the FAA does a great job of actually highlighting where those interference patterns are actually happening. If you look at a globe, um, it's, it's pretty extensive in the places you'd expect, you know, around uh, the Ukraine area in the Middle East. Um, having that kind of awareness before we actually fly into these locations is absolutely incredible and, and critical. The second is that um, we're working with the Aviation Cyber Initiative as they develop a concept of operation. So if, if pilots do in fact fly into an area, as the examples you just provided, they have the, um, the processes that they can uh, they actually identify the, the issue and know where to report it. And then once the reports are actually made, then what can the FAA and others do to actually notify others and do mitigation if that's possible? In fact, it might part of that be uh, contacting law enforcement. And, and then lastly, um, just recently I mentioned that we're doing uh, with the uh, ACI, or the Aviation Cyber Initiative, we just had a tabletop exercise on this very subject. Um, and in that, we were trying to identify gaps and seams, communication breakdowns. And I think to your question, sir, as those, those initiatives to continue to evolve, um, I think it'd be um, well worth the time to talk with the FAA to see what resources they need to actually help all of us. Very good. Thank you. I yield the time. Thank you. Uh, Senator 